Hello, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, as well as DVD Architect. And here we are in a movie project, and we would like to add some rolling credits at the end of the project. Our rolling credit templates can be found under the media generators, and here is credit roll. Now, as with all of the media generators, these little templates you see here in the upper left-hand corner are actually just variations on a single template. You can modify them any way you want and you can select whichever template you want. Let's go ahead and drag that on down to the timeline and we'll position the playhead right over it so we can actually see there's a credit. There are the credits rolling up the screen. And there are a number of variations on this, as I say, that you can get to by selecting the various presets here at the top of the screen or selecting a preset from that media generator panel. Rolling credits include sort of a header area, and that is this title text at the top, a subtext or a sub item text, and then templates here for left item and right item. We could manually type in a title for our movie, a subtitle, and then manually add in our credits. But a very nice feature that has been added to the program is the ability to import text into these so we don't have to manually type them in. And I'll show you what I mean. Here is a simple text file. I just created it in OpenOffice. You can create it in Word or you can create it in Notepad. It's not a formatted text file by any means. In fact, all I've done is between the name of the character and the name of the actor, I put a little tab in there. You can't see it, but there's a tab in there. I don't have to actually create the tab columns or anything. All I need to do is put that little character in there, the tab to separate the two. And then I'm going to save this as a TXT file. Now let's go ahead and close it. And then over here in Vegas Movie Studio, in Credit Roll, I'm going to click on this little button here, Import Text from File. And I'll locate that file where I've typed all of those names, separated the actor and the character with a tab, but otherwise just basic text. Click Open, and there it is. They're imported nicely, and I have my rolling credits. I didn't have to manually type in the names. It put the names in automatically. That's very nice. You can, of course, modify the styles for each of these two. So for instance, let me just select the top part here. This is the main header. I can select that and go over here to Styles, the Styles tab, and I can make that bold. Now this actually, I'm going to make this into my header style. I'm going to change this option to header. Now that is bold and then my single item or my subhead, I'm going to unbold. So now these are two separate styles. I'll go back over here to header and I'm going to change that header to say a 24 point font. I will make my subheader into a 18 point font. We'll go back here to my header and we'll say less space below. That looks pretty nice. Now I can also take these names here, the name of the character and the name of the actor, and I can modify that style too. If I select this button here on the left representing those two columns, you see I have options for setting up separate styles for the left and the right column. So the left style, I can make the name of the character bold and the name of the actor not bold. The left style, I can left justify. Uh, the right hand column, I can right justify. And then to connect the name of the actor with the character, I can choose to add little dots. Now look at that. I have a very smart looking rolling credit here. These rolling credits are 10 seconds long. And if I have a lot of names in here, it's going to roll up rather quickly, but I can control how fast or how slow that credit rolls up simply by changing the duration up here at the top of the media generator window. So I can change that now to a 15 second roll. And now you'll see that the roll rolls just a little slower. So pretty cool. With just a couple of clicks here, we were able to add the names and we were able to modify the template a little bit and make our own custom rolling credit styles by using the media generators here in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. We got lots of tips and tutorials here at moviepix.com and the moviepix.com guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum is your complete guide to using all the tools in the program. I'm Steve Rizzetti. Hope to see you again real soon.